All right, how's it going guys? So it's Mark here from Vegetable Outdoors. And uh, I know just recently I dropped a, ha um, a video on a hammock. Uh, did some hammock mods on my hammock roo. Uh, but today I wanna talk a little bit about uh, my hammock evolution, we'll call it. Um, where I started, uh, why I changed, where I wound up, and why I changed. And then we're gonna hang up this guy. It's my brand new hammock from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. It's my first hang. I've never hung this guy up before. But uh, from the design of it, and uh, how it looks, it should meet all my needs. After, uh, after going through a couple of hammocks, this one should be good. Now, you may be wondering, well, what was all the purpose of doing that uh, work on my other hammock? Well, I found a few things that I, that I wanted to change on that hammock, and I figured it would be an excellent guest hammock. So as long as I um, did a few upgrades on that one, uh, it should be pretty decent for anybody who wants to come out and hang with me uh, on, a, on a hammock hammock trip. But uh, let's get this guy hung up. We'll talk about it. Then we'll cook some lunch. Get these straps out. So right, guys, this is what you get when you buy a Hemlock Mountain uh, Outdoors Coyote Pack. You have a uh, nice length of strap. I believe it's something something around five feet. Then you have, or six feet, and then you got a carabiner, uh, which is uh, kind of ridiculously strong uh, considering how much it weighs. Then you got some whoopee slings. Um, the spot that we picked probably could have been a little bit wider, uh, but this is my first uh, my first go at this hammock. So here we are. We're right at the top of our whoopee slings, but we've got a decent hang You get yourself a nice hammock a beautiful looking hammock with a bug net inside The uh, <clears throat> and then all, obviously the same suspension on the other side now when you uh, get inside here I'll uh, put you back on the tripod and give you a quick look right, one of the major selling points for me to pick up one of these hammocks was uh, how the bug net uh, is, it works. Uh, on my first hammock, my Grand Trunk Skeeter Breeder Pro, which is a great hammock, but it had a few flaws that I just didn't like. Um, if I wanted to uh, enjoy the hammock without the bug net, like on a beautiful day like today, there's no bugs or whatever it is, I actually had to take off the ridge line, remove, take the hammock completely, flip it upside down, line it that way, and if the bugs happen to come back out again, I'd have to put my under blanket off, flip the thing back over, put the ridge line back up, run it through this, the, the little loops on the, on, the ham, on, the, on the bug net, and then back in there and be bug free. I found it was more troublesome and longer to set up, and it, it kind of bugged me, because um, I was not only attaching the, the ends, but I was also uh, the suspension systems, but I was also attaching a ridge line for that, for the bug net, and then a second ridge line for the, um, for the tarp that goes over it. A lot of tying knots, a lot of setup time when uh, you want to be chilling or relaxing. Now, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer, check out this guy, and uh, why, why I like it and why I think it's awesome. But on this hammock, you've got a bug net on top. You could use or not use. Um, and the good thing is, it is, we'll call it uh, semi-removable, because you can peel back this whole thing, and it'll sit right up in the corner here on the peak. So let's take a quick look at that. We'll unzip one side real fast. There's one side. Oh, I did the wrong way. We'll just keep on going this way. Now, if you want to enjoy your hammock with a bug net on, this bug net can completely be removed. And inside here, there's a, a little bungee cord that you can just tuck your bug net in, stuff it up into the piece, and it'll be out of your way, and you won't have to worry about it anymore. And now you're hanging without, um, now you're hanging without a, uh, without a bug net, 
The Zap Hammock also comes with this, uh, this awesome ridge line in here, made out of the same materials that your uh, whoopie slings are. And uh, it has a little uh, organizer on the, on, the, uh, on the ridge line itself. And you can put your keys, your wallet, your phone, whatever it is you want to put in there. Uh, it's easy enough to store things for you while you're spending your night. Um, but the ridge line also does a few other things that I quite like uh, that both of my other hammocks were missing. Uh, you saw on the roof, I added one. Uh, I have since changed the, uh, the paracord out for one of these guys as well. And the uh, Grand Trunk also didn't have a ridge line inside. So basically what I've done uh, with this ridge line, it helps you in a few ways. It helps you get in and out of your hammock. You can store things on it. It keeps your ridge line off your face, or your bug net off your face. You can also set it up with your tarp right on this if you had to in a pinch to throw it over real quick and solve a lot of your issues. But in and out of the hammock, having this nice ridge line here sure does help out a lot. Now in the past, you've heard me rave about the Canic Roo. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you right now, that was by far the most comfortable hammock I've ever been in. The material that was on it was super comfortable on your skin. Uh, it didn't stretch too much. Um, it was just a great all-around hammock. But it has one major flaw, which I just got fed up of and I had to, I had to make a change was on my last overnighter uh, back in May, it's too long ago, uh, I went out with uh, my buddy Jesse and he was setting up his, um, I think it's a, it's a Hennessy, I can't remember if it's a Hennessy or a war bond that he has, but his setup time was a quarter of the setup time of mine. So when I went there, I set up my straps, I had those daisy chain style straps, I hooked them up, and then I set up my hammock, then I put on my under blanket, then I put on my bug net, had the tire ridge line, set up my bug net, click it on, set up my tar, click it on. He basically stuck his on, unrolled it out, everything fell into place, staked everything out, to stake down his tarp, tarp, and he was in business. And I was sitting there still tying knots and trying to get everything all lined up and everything like that, and I was just kind of like, man, there's got to be a better way. So I got online, started poking around, and sure enough, um, I saw Joseph Russell, or Joseph Russell, as he's commonly called, shoot a video of Hemlock Mountain Outdoors uh, doing one of these, um, it looked like a dragonfly, dragon snare or something like that. It was like a little uh, carabiner with like a little noose on it you can carry your water bottles with. It seemed pretty cool. So I'm like, oh man, I'm going to go check it out. So I went on there, and that's when I first uh, found out of, um, of uh, Hemlock Mountain Outdoors checked out his hammocks, um, and the hammocks were like, I'm like, wow, the hammocks are really nice. So I waited for some uh, some YouTube money to come in, and lo and behold, I, I ordered one. And uh, let me tell you, so far, I'm really impressed with the, the stitching's all nice and even, double stitcher on the zippers, all the way around. I'll give you a quick look at all this stuff in a second. But it's got already got some storage attached to it. It's got a bug net that can be removed without having to flip over the hammock or take any knots down. Everything is just about ready to go. All right, now before I was using the, uh, the snug pack under blanket, came in at around 50 bucks. Um, and you know what? It works. Uh, I've, I've been in pretty chilly weather with it. It was kind of okay. Uh, the one thing I will say again is how it comes with the bungee cords or the shock cords to uh, adjust it onto the, onto the uh, hammock itself. It was a pain in the ass to set up. I didn't, I didn't like it. Um, I still have two of them for two of my hammocks. Uh, now I've got three, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so this one, I've already looked at it a little bit. I stretched it out at home, play, uh, checked it out, and I could see this being a uh, uh, quick, quick and easy setup. And I'll show you how. You'll see you got a couple of carabiners here, some shock cord with, with an, uh, an adjustable knot. Basically, it's got a, um, a knot on both ends to be able to uh, pull it and stretch it out. Make, make it a little bit tighter on the ends or make it looser on the ends, whatever you want. Uh, however you want to hang it. Um, the one crucial thing, though, I found with uh, setting up under blankets when I see a lot of people making mistakes on, and I'm not going to go around saying that I'm a pro with this or I'm a hero or anything. It's not true. But the whole purpose for me is you want to have your under blanket hanging under your hammock comfortably Tight at the end so winds don't blow through, but when you hop in, it doesn't open at the end and let the air in. Uh, you don't want to compress your your uh, 
you don't want to compress your insulation either. So I'll show you how we're going to hang this guy up. It's really simple. Uh, just one little carabiner attached to your, to your uh, suspension system and that's it. So check it out. Simple click. That's one end. Simple click on the other end. Grab your hammock, drop it in, and you're done. That's all there is to it. You're gonna have two little, two little uh, uh, bungee cords on each side. You're gonna highlight them hang like that. You got another couple of bungee cords hanging on this side, and you're gonna let them hang like that. It's all right. There we go. I'm gonna bring you in closer, give you a quick look at it. How simple this is to set up and then uh we're gonna hop into there and see how see how she feels Now the amazing thing is, is you could actually feel the heat instantly when you get in here. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. This this will be fine. And we're about uh, 15 degrees outside today. And uh, let's see where I am. Where I'm at here. We got the quilt right up behind my head. Comes right up to the sides here. My feet are completely covered in there. It's perfect. It's perfect. Sorry guys, I just want to give you a quick look at the inside here and what kind of room there is in here. Uh, this is an 11 foot hammock, so there's a lot more room in here than there was in my other two hammocks. Now, you can see right up here, I've got my ridgeline organizer all the way back here. Got, got all kinds of space, I can move that back and not have to worry about it. I can pop a pillow in behind my head if I want to. Um, I've got lots of room, shoulder space. Plenty, plenty of material left and right uh, to be able to uh, get a nice cross lay going. The bug net's not hanging in my face or touching me, which is perfect. Now, if I turn you guys around, you can see I've got lots of room in here. Uh, all the way up into the peak there where, where we're able to store the bug net. Fits into there. My feet are sitting over here, and I still got lots of room. I didn't close the bug net completely. Didn't feel I needed to. Uh, not many bugs out here anyway, so it's not a problem. So, uh, I did say that the Kamek Roo wasn't my most comfortable hammock I've ever been in. Uh, I take it back. Uh, this is now the most comfortable hammock I've ever been in. Uh, it, the only thing was I had a problem with the Roo was I found the sides came up too deep, like in a bucket. And uh, it ended up um, being very difficult to get in and out of it sometimes. But once you're in, you're super comfortable. But getting in and out was a little bit tough. And you didn't get to have the... Uh, the perfect cross lay um, in the roo because the sides came up too high like a bucket but this works out fantastic so I'm gonna put this shaky phone away and we're gonna get back to the get back to the proper camera but this is awesome sorry guys so basically what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna fire up the transier real quick I gotta get some lunch into me I'm hungry and it's way late so uh, I'm gonna fire up the transier get some get some stew going I got some bread to dip uh, and then we're gonna talk about um, you know, certain things you might want to look for if you're looking for a hammock. Uh, things that are going to make life easier for you instead of more difficult. Uh, comfort, uh, size, uh, all that stuff. So we'll get into that in a minute. But first, let's get some launch going. In case anybody asks, this is the Enzo Necker. This little guy is an awesome little knife. Now, before you go pick up a hammock, really try to think about, go on to um, you know, some hammock forums or talk to some guys on YouTube. There's a lot of knowledgeable, knowledgeable guys out there that'll help you out, but 
check with these guys and ask them, you know, what it is that makes makes uh, their setup right for them. Let's talk to them about it. They'll help you out. A lot of people in the hammock uh, hammock community are pretty cool, but for me, the things I wanted was something that's going to take up less space in my backpack, make it less weight, less space, less weight. I want it to be easily and quick, quick setup, and be decent quality, and have uh, storage and a repeatable setup, um, and it's something with a ridge line. I wanted a ridge line. Uh, some people don't, some people do, but that's a personal preference. It's totally up to you, and that's all part of it. Now, I'm not saying this setup that we have here today is going to be right for everybody out there, but uh, this is the right setup for me. I think it's going to be great. It's. Um, Basically, it checked all my boxes. And what was I looking for? Something that was gonna be small and light for my backpack. Something that was gonna be um, easily set up. It's gonna be decent, good quality. It's gonna have a bug net, because I need a bug net where I live. But the bug net that can be removed and tucked under a peak somewhere is absolutely perfect. So I could use it and I could deploy it if I need it in a second and a heartbeat. No problem, it's up. Um, I wanted to have a ridge line, something I could hang my gear off of if I need to. Something that's also going to help me grab onto and help me, you know, get in and out of the hammock. If I need to uh, put on my shoes, I can hold on to this for some balance. All that helps. Um, I've got my, so I got some storage here uh, where I can put a few of my things up on my ridge line. Don't have to worry about it, uh, about it uh, getting in the way or hanging funny or uh, or floating around in the bottom of the hammock with me, and you end up getting, you know, getting getting your keys lumped into you and all that. Because I don't have to worry about that stuff no more. Because I've got a place to put all my stuff. And um, once you've got all your boxes checked, all the things that you're going to find important, you'll be able to choose a hammock quite easily, and you're going to be uh, you're going to be really happy you, that you actually thought it through without uh, jumping on the bandwagon of what was the coolest the coolest brand out of the market at the time. Um, and that's kind of where I got stuck. Uh, I started seeing the Grand Trunk popping up everywhere, so I bought the Grand Trunk. Heard it was supposed to be a great a great hammock, and it is a decent hammock, but. Uh, the step up that I went to was a um, was a big step up. The Kamek Roo is an excellent hammock, but it was still missing some of the things that I wanted uh, that I needed in the hammock. And um, after doing some research and really thinking about what I what I need and what's going to be important to me, I went to this, and I was able to save weight and size in my backpack. It was quicker setup time. It's a good quality, comfortable hammock, and. Uh, it's got a ridge line, it's got storage. It checks a lot of boxes for me, so I'm really happy with this. And uh, in the future, if you're looking to buy a hammock, uh, I'll leave a link down if this is something that you would like. But so if you guys are looking for uh, some, some resources to talk to some guys on YouTube, you could always talk talk to Sarge Vinning, you could talk to um, you could talk to uh, Suge, or you could talk to um, Bruce over at Nature Calls. These guys are all pro hammock, ha hammock campers. You can even talk to Kurt, go over to his channel, and uh, shoot him a message, and I'm sure he'd have uh, have some uh, answers, uh, you know, answers for your questions. These are all guys that ham hammock camp on a regular basis, and they know their stuff. So don't get too uh, don't get too hung up on brands. When uh, there's lots of guys out there, that even companies that I've never even heard of out there, to probably make excellent hammocks, and they're uh, they're ready to go. But one of the most important thing for me was to uh, cut down my setup time, cut down my weight, and cut down my pack my pack fo uh, footprint. And I did all three of those things, and I got myself a quality hammock that's going to be awesome for the future. Sorry guys, I guess that's just about it for me. So if you're uh, if you're looking for a hammock, uh, for some inf info on a hammock, or you're thinking about getting into hammock camping. Be sure to check out those guys I mentioned. I'm sure they'll all be there to help you. Happy to help you. And they'll get you on the right path of uh, getting yourself a, um, a really good setup that's gonna last you a lifetime and um, and uh, make, make your experience that much better while you're out hanging in the trees. So, thanks a lot for watching guys. Get on Explore, see you in the next one. And uh, let me enjoy some of this, uh, this stew here. I gotta eat this up before it gets too cold. Hey, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Coyote Pack X from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. Um, I'm going to really enjoy getting out with some more adventures with this. But if you want to see some adventures and you haven't been out camping yet, um, I'm going to attach a couple of videos here for you guys to check out. 
And while you're there, shoot me a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. I'll appreciate it. You guys take care and get out and explore.